My name is Jose Aguiluz and I am a registered nurse and I am a DACA recipient and I have been living in the U.S. for the past 15 years. My name is Jesus Contreras. I'm a paramedic for the city of Houston. Um, I'm also a DACA recipient and I've been in the United States since the age of six. There are about 27,000 to 30,000 DACA recipients that are working in the healthcare field. And we're talking about uh, respiratory therapists, nurses, doctors, paramedics that are in the front lines of this coronavirus crisis. It's making our calls a little bit longer. We have to take extra precautions. We have to think about everything that we do uh, a little bit more carefully just so that we can avoid the possibility of exposure on the job. Um, we're seeing um, high inflicts of patients uh, related to COVID and other respiratory illnesses. I've been a surgeon nurse for the past uh, almost five years now. And due to the COVID-19 crisis, all the elective surgeries have been suspended. So I was furloughed from my job last week. So I recently became a member of the Maryland Response Medical Reserves Corps. Since I am unemployed uh, currently, I decided to volunteer in my community and provide my nursing services in this time of crisis in the state that pretty much gave me the opportunity to access my education and become a nurse. So it's a way of me paying back to what Maryland has provided to me. In November, uh, the administration brought a case against DACA at the Supreme Court level. And so now we're at the mercy of the court to decide whether the DACA program was constitutionally implemented. And so if the court decides against our favor, we could be losing the program. Um, again, as some of us will fall out of the, our, our two-year period, uh, some of us will lose status and um, you know, potentially be at danger of being deported. On top of that uncertainty, like people like me or many other DACA recipients that have lost their jobs, they simply don't have access to like unemployment benefits through the state because that it's, it's not, we simply cannot apply to those. So pretty much we are in a type of financial limbo right now. We're just kind of holding our breath, um, not only for COVID, but holding our breath for the actual program itself and the decision of the court. We are in the front lines of this healthcare crisis. We are saving American lives. It doesn't, re and my patients really don't care about my immigration status. They just care that I am a competent healthcare provider and that I am there to help them in a time of need. We're not only um, DACA recipients, we're not only immigrants, but we're invested in this country. We're invested in your communities and and willing to fight this uh, virus uh, alongside the citizens of the U.S.